Awesome. Well, I tell you what, uh, I'd like to talk about some of the things that are happening at Perk since uh, yeah, sure. since since Corona Labs has been acquired. So, yep. so tell us about some of that stuff. Well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, we you know we let's see if we, if we rewind back, zoom you know rewind back to the the time of the acquisition. It was basically end of November, early December. Um, so it's been about uh, about two months, right? Or I'd say, yeah, give or take, you know, about, you know, about six weeks, seven, six to eight weeks. Um, and so, you know, there's there's typical, you know, general post acquisition team coordination that needs to happen. You know, when you're when you're now part of a larger company, um, the, few, the, the 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 Corona Labs team has been there before, at least with the Fuse powered acquisition. Um, but uh, I think you know, for us, you know, we 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 obviously are are keen to do the right things with Corona Labs in terms of, um, you know, again, as outside of per using Corona's SDK, uh, you know, also think about how we can help in, you know, kind of, uh, we're, you know, leveraging our team to go do, you know, move, have Corona SDK moving faster in development where we can help. Um, and so there's just a general post acquisition team organization. Um, we have, one of the reasons why I'm in Bangalore right now uh, is because, we have a couple of folks that are working on some pieces of Corona right now, from building plugins to to working on Corona ads. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on, um, you know, on this side. So it, it, there's 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 plenty of stuff going on there. Uh, as you guys know, as some of you know, uh, you know, out there, you know, we we made some new hires. Uh, you know, but, you know, we announced it via our blog posting. Uh, you know, Sergey Lerg and, and and Danny Glover, uh, Chris Byerly are, are you know, kind of to name a few that are, are now on the team. Um, and, uh, and, and, and they're not, they're, they're not, uh, new folks that don't know anything about Corona. They've been around for a while, uh, and they've been doing some, you know, and so the community is very aware of what they're capable of building. Um, and so we're excited about that, about the new hires that we made. And I think we're just getting started there. I think there's, there's clearly opportunity to, to bring on some more, more folks. Um, but, you know, I think we, we, we did, we need, we knew we needed to fill in some, some holes and, and we're, we're already seeing the results of what we can do with, with folks like Sergey, Danny and Chris. Um, you know, I think one of the things we did was we removed the, the, the limit on, um, the number of computers you can install Corona SDK on. Um, so now that you can, you know, you can, you can install it on as many computers as you need to, uh, and you don't run across that, that message that says, oh no, you can't use it anymore. Uh, de off on another computer before you can use it on this one. Uh, we thought that that was, um, it made, may, maybe made sense in the past, but, but it, it was, you know, <laughs> your best users are using Corona across as many you know, machines as they, 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 they like, why, why limit them uh, in that way? Um, it's a good thing if they want to use other more computers and, than, than you know, less. Um, we're also uh, working on all new plugins. Um, it was one of the things that I wanted to do right after the acquisition and, uh, you know, to really kind of kick off a process we, where we were building a rhythm around, you know, new plugin development. And that does, that's not just monetization. It's also you know, analytics and, and uh, you know, core plugin development um, and, and, and other kinds of third party plugins that, you know, that, that, that should be part of the ecosystem that might not be there today. So, you know, kicking that off process off is, was important to us. Um, and then obviously we took, uh, you know, we, 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 you know, the last couple of, you know, I think in December, middle of December, uh, TVOS was, was taken to, you know, was taken to into beta. I think it was, uh, and desktop was you know, taken to stable, at least some in, on some of the platforms. And so I think for us, we're taking, we're taking further, we were taking this further and, uh, taking these platforms as well, and not and, and seeing that that is being an important part of a, a multimedia strategy. You know, like we're not thinking just mobile TV, TVOS, and connected TVs in general. Desktop are important as as well. Um, and then and then finally, I think we look at the uh, you know the Corona marketplace as being an important um, component of the future. You know, if you think about um, you know I think about a, a mature platform, an asset store of some kind is important to that. To the, to the strategy, and I think it's also important to the community and the ecosystem and the general viability of the, of the, of the platform. Um, the first thing that you're doing after you, after you get, are, are getting excited about building something in Corona SDK is where am I going to get my icon packs from? Where am I gonna, what am I going to get my, my my very sprites and things like that? And and, and a Corona marketplace can 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 make all that possible, uh, as well as you know people, folks out there who want to um, to offer you know, third-party plugins and plugins that they've created as well to extend what Corona SDK can do today. So um, today is the plugin store, right? So the plugin store is where you see the beginnings of what Corona Marketplace will eventually become. And we kicked off, the, kicked off a process there, and we have some folks working on that today. 
um, and we're excited about that, what that can what 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 that will end up being um, in the future. So there's there's plenty of stuff already happening, and I think you know um, you know if you if you've been a company that's been acquired in the past, and you think about what is what has been done in 60 days, I think we've, we've accomplished a lot. Uh, we've kind of kind of greased the wheels for a lot for, for what the future looks like, and we're very excited about what that what what's going to happen in the future.